What is happening everyone? So in today's video I will show you a complete Facebook pixel setup for Go High Level Funnel plus how to set up your conversion API. Now for those that are not really familiar what is a Facebook pixel or conversion API, just to simplify it, a Facebook pixel is essentially a piece of code you install in your funnel or website and this way Facebook is able to track what's going on on your funnel or website. Now due to privacy policy updates in the last few years, being able to get access accurate data just from a Facebook pixel became super hard. So this is why Facebook came up with a conversion API, which is essentially just like a plugin or a sort of a connection that essentially the platform that you are using, whether it's Go High Level, Shopify, WordPress, this platform is going to be sending the data straight into Facebook. So let's go ahead and dive in straight to the setup. All right, so the first thing that we need is obviously going to be a Facebook pixel. If you don't have one, simply go to your business settings of your business manager and click on data sources and data sets and over here go ahead and click add and let's name our data set demo pixel now keep in mind that data set is the same as pixel just facebook changed the name of it a few months ago or even over a year so now let's go ahead and hit create all right perfect now we have this pop-up over here we can just go ahead and close it and what we want to do is on the right side over here you want to click on open in events manager so let's go ahead and set up our Facebook pixel first. So we'll click set up meta pixel, then we'll click on install code manually. And now Facebook gives you the piece of code that we need to input in our funnels HTML. So we're simply going to copy code. And now we go to go high level and we'll go to sites. And then here in the funnel section, we'll select the right funnel. And now what you want to do is to click on settings and where it says head tracking code, this is where we're going to paste our Facebook pixel code and then simply hit save. All right, so this part is done, but first let's go ahead and test our pixel and see if it actually works. To be able to do it, we'll need to install a Chrome extension called Facebook pixel helper. So I already got that installed. So what I will do, I'll simply type in the URL of my funnel and boom, as you can see over here, this is the Facebook pixel helper Chrome extension. And it says over here that this is page view at the moment. And we have this green tick, which means that everything is firing properly and now to finish up setting up the pixel we'll have to click continue automatic advanced matching yes we would like to turn this on we'll keep everything on over here click continue and click on go to pixel overview all right so now the pixel is all set up and we have verified that this was successfully installed on our website the next thing that we want to do is to go ahead and set up the conversion api so to do that we'll click on settings and in this page we'll have to copy two things which is going to be our data set id or a Facebook pixel ID and then the access token over here. Now what I will be doing is I will be creating a custom values on go high level for our pixel ID and the access token. So this way it will be much easier for us to move forward. So let's go ahead and first copy our data set ID and then let's go to go high level. On the left side we'll click on settings and then custom values and here we'll create a new folder and let's call it Facebook conversion API. Click create perfect and now let's click on add new custom value and let's call this data set ID or you can call it Facebook pixel and here we'll drop in the ID and click on Facebook conversion API and click create all right the next thing will be generating our access token so let's go ahead and click or here generate access token and let's copy this code go back to go high level and again new custom value over here we'll type in access token here we'll drop in the value and select the facebook conversion api folder click create and lastly what i would like you to do is to set up a product value so let's say you sell something for 97 dollars you want to make sure that you transfer this data back to facebook so just to save you up some time it's much easier to set up a custom value for your product price because then if you're going to change your price later on you will not have to change the price in every single automation that you have set up so let's go ahead and click new custom value over here this is going to be our product price 
and the product price that I set up for my demo product is $97 make sure you don't add the dollar sign and only use numbers select Facebook conversion API again and click create all right perfect so now let's go back and now what we need to do is to go to automations and then we would like to create a folder and we'll name this folder Facebook conversion API click create open up the folder and click create workflow we'll create workflow from scratch click continue all right and now we'll name this workflow by the name of the event that we want to send back to Facebook through the conversion API so we'll call this one purchase so I want to send the conversion API the data about purchases and now what we need to do is to set up our trigger so we'll click on add new trigger and here we'll need to select order form submission so make sure you select this one exactly click on it and over here in the filters okay let me just move that really quick in the filters we're going to select our funnel slash websites so we have our demo funnel over here and then we'll create another filter which the submission type will be a sale okay and this is super important because if you're not going to do it and you have a two-step form on your funnel then it will fire the purchase event even if someone didn't complete the two steps so we want to make sure it's only firing purchase when someone actually completes the two steps puts his credit card information and completes the purchase so now let's go ahead and save trigger and now what we want to do is we want to fire the Facebook conversion API and now over here we need just to fill out the right information so the event type will be funnel event because we're using a funnel then the access token what we will do is we'll use the custom values that we have already prepared click over here and scroll down to custom values and then click on Facebook conversion API and then we'll select the access token same goes for the pixel ID we'll click on it custom values Facebook conversion API and data set ID and the Facebook event that we want to send back to Facebook will be a purchase so let's go ahead and select purchase now the value this is again we set up through the custom values we're going to select here the product price and this is why we do that in advance just because if we will change something in the future we want that this information will be updated everywhere and lastly the currency so you just select the right currency of your product price and let's hit save action and that's pretty much all now let's go ahead and run a test for this workflow so we'll click on publish and hit save so to run a test what we need to do is we need to go back to our funnel we'll click on sites and open up our demo funnel we need to go over here to settings and we want to make sure that the payment method is on test mode so this one is already on test mode so make sure it looks like this and now you want to go to the first page of your funnel so this is the first page then this is a two-step form checkout type in test so this is just like test info to see if that actually works okay and now it takes us to where we're going to put in our uh, card information so for the test purpose again just use this number expiration date just use something in the future and the CVC will be one two three and let's complete order perfect so this is the thank you page so now let's go back to go high level and let's click on automation again and click on our folder for Facebook conversion API and as you can see we have total enrolled one meaning that our automation worked so let's just go ahead and verify that this is actually sent information back to Facebook so let's click on execution logs and boom as you can see contact added to workflow then execute it and lastly finish so if we'll click on it we'll be able to see that all the data was sent back to Facebook we have the conversion API set up just one quick thing if you want to run multiple tests for this workflow over here you want to make sure that you click on settings and then you click on allow re-entry so if something doesn't work you'll be able to try checking out again so making sure that everything is working properly all right so hopefully that was helpful if it was make sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below and check out these two videos next.